All right, good morning. My name is uh, Sergeant Anderson, and uh, I am the SRO here at Central Elementary School. And I want to welcome you back to the 2022-2023 uh, uh, school year. And so we got just a few things to talk about outside the school about our arrival and our dismissal and what that will look like. So why don't you uh, come with me and we're gonna kind of walk you through this and make this as clear as we can for you. All righty, we're ready to see you. So here we go. I'm standing on Washington Street right in front of Central Elementary School. And I kind of want to tell you how this area is gonna be utilized every morning during drop off and then in the afternoon and pick up. Behind me, if you can see, is the crosswalk where I will be standing. And so a good option for parents would be to drop their kids off at Stone Park or at OPC and let them walk and utilize the crosswalk and make their way to the school. So I will be there every morning or a crossing guard will be there every morning to help get your kids safely across the road. And that is where we will be standing. This area in front of the school, and we're trying to pan, is uh, utilized for buses only. So uh, the school buses will be here and it's just for bus tra traffic in the morning from seven to 7.40, buses only. And then again, from 2.20 to 3 p.m., buses only, okay? So no vehicles need to be dropping their students off on Washington Avenue. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take you to where the student drop off will be if you choose not to let your children walk from the park or from OPC and utilize a crosswalk, then we have a place at the back of the school where all the parents will utilize the car rider line. All right, so let's go that way, come on. All right, here we go. We're doing the car rider line now for Central Elementary. So I'm on Martin Luther King Drive and the line will form down Martin Luther King Drive uh, facing OIS. And so we're approaching, and if you notice, we're in the neighborhood, so I would first ask you to be aware that a lot of people have driveways, and let's make sure that they have a way to get out and uh, uh, some of the residents can come and come to and from their home freely. All right, so here's our first intersection. This is Washington Avenue. You will, you will come by Washington Avenue right down the front of Oxford Intermediate School. And you'll be approaching this four-way stop and we will have a um, officer here helping direct traffic. Once you come to this four-way stop, you're gonna take a right. And now you're on Jefferson Avenue, Jefferson Avenue. As you come down the hill, I want you, and this is imperative that you understand this, that Sixth Street will be blocked off every morning from 7 to 7.40, and again, probably starting at 2 till uh, the end of pickup. And that's, that's necessary uh, to keep traffic off of this road. So you'll come down the hill to 5th Street, which runs in between Oxford Elementary and Central, or Oxford Intermediate and Central Elementary. You're gonna take a right. And then you're gonna come down to the back side of the school here. And there will be teachers here lined up at each of these cone stations to receive your kids uh, in the morning into the school. And uh, it, I believe that they're gonna to try to utilize two lines here. So in the morning, this will form into two lines. Your kids will go into the school and then you'll exit out. And when you exit, you'll have two options available for you. You can take a right here on 5th Street, which is a one-way street. So you can take a right on 5th Street, and that'll take you uh, over to Jackson. Or you can go straight and come back the way you came in and exit towards Lindsay's or whichever way you need to go. All right, parents, that concludes my traffic video. If you have any questions, I'd ask that you contact uh, the Prin Principal Logan or Principal Artbuckle, or you can come talk with me and we'll kind of walk through 
uh, what's going on down here. I would ask that the first two weeks that you be super patient with everybody. Remember, people are trying to get pictures uh, of, their, of their, their student while they get dropped off. And, you know, it just seems to take a little longer the first two weeks. But once things get sorted out, it absolutely flows a lot better. And uh, so we expect to have a good year. I'm excited to have your kids back in school and look forward to meeting you. Have a good day.